And after being rattled by that deadly blast, Farmington, Maine heads into this weekend a changed community. Yeah, not only that, the blast left 30 people homeless, a nonprofit without an office, Mainers looking for answers. Dustin Bloodkowski reports tonight from Farmington. It's a Monday morning, Farmington feels robbed by a boom heard for miles, a cloud of debris appears out of nowhere. I didn't even realize the window was blown until after. In an instant, a propane explosion turned a local nonprofit's office into a war zone. A somber, just very, very somber. Farmington Fire Captain Michael Bell was killed. Six people, five of them firefighters, hospitalized, some still critical on Friday. Caution tape remains, though state investigators are gone. Their findings yet to be released as dozens displaced haul out what's left of damaged homes. Air quality monitors track lingering dust. For days, insulation has covered the ground here. Now it's being cleaned up. <coughs> Throughout Western Maine, Captain Bell and those injured are in about everyone's thoughts. The streets were lined for the lost and the living. Flags in their honor displayed. Donations in jars in the tens of thousands collected for all who were hurt. We need help taking care of the residents because the Bell family would want these residents back to their normal day, back with their normal things. Meantime, LEAP has begun a rebound. The nonprofit missing its building already has a temporary home nearby. Everything's backed up into the cloud except for what you saw on the ground there, paperwork, all the personal records and things like that. Somewhere in the data, the debris, the blown out windshields is kindness. The way life should be when tragedy tears a small main town right through. In Farmington, Dustin Blinkowski, News Center, Maine. Now, a spokesman for the Maine Public Safety uh, Administration says investigators will continue their work off site to determine the cause of the explosion. They'll be conducting interviews with witnesses and analyzing items they've recovered there at the scene.